What is this late night recording I'm doing right now? I mean, it's only Thursday. We usually do this Friday morning. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Frogman. Welcome back to uh, Manufactio Nuclear Edition. Yes, I'm going to do a little bit of goofing around since I went ahead and did what I said we were going to do last time, which was we were going to build up some infrastructure that we've probably all done at least 100 times in every single one of these mod packs which is the building and processing of the hop graphite ingots from immersive engineering into whatever else that is designed to be done. So I already got that set up. We'll go touch on that just in a second. The reason why we're doing this right now is because I just got it done. I decided I would sit down and play a little bit says this afternoon, this evening, whatever you want to call it. Because I kind of think I want to go do something tomorrow that is not playing video games and is not staying in the house. So we'll, we'll see how that works out. But anyhow, uh, we did, in the last episode, get a couple of things built, and they're currently sitting over there shut off, or at least that is shut off. The nuclear reactor is off because there's no point in me wasting all of the fuel that I'm going to have to run in that reactor if I can't hook it up to the power in the main base. Which means we need to work on, well, not any of this stuff. Let's get it out of here real quick. Which means we need to work on, click the right button, please, sir, power logistics, flexible UHV wiring. We unlocked both this and the UHV wiring energy ducts in the last episode. And, well, we would have gone ahead and built them considering the fact that, you know, we, we have almost all of the stuff that we needed, uh, except for one little thing, UHV, which is we can build all of this stuff. I went ahead and made a whole bunch of cactus dye green, and I can run all that stuff, no problem. That's pretty simple. Is the titanium rods, I can just throw a bunch of titanium into one of these machines behind us, and we'll be perfectly fine. These are the relays. These are the little things that you connect in between everything. The distance available for this mod as far as, and this is one of the really cool things about Industrial Renewal that I really like, is that these have a really long distance. So, um, getting the wiring in between these relays is amazing. It's not going to cost us a lot of this stuff to go a long way. Matter of fact, if I wire it right, I might not even have to make any of these relays. Now, one thing that I did do in between episodes, or like say before the episode started, was we needed to make a bunch of tungsten carbide plates. Tungsten carbide plates are made with tungsten ingots and coke dust, and I made those in this electric furnace that is sitting down here at the end of our current little workshop area, and I made a... a a decent amount. That that should do everything that we need to do. I think we're probably out. Anyway, um, do do apologize as well if I'm sound a little stuffed up. I did a little bit of uh, digging around in the parents' barn and got a whole bunch of dust up my nose over the last couple of, uh, well, a little while ago, and then... <laughs> was that last weekend and then I'm digging through some of the stuff that I brought home and again stirred up a whole bunch of dust so my allergies are all over the place once again as always it's amazing we all love allergies it's a great fun thing but I did end up with a whole bunch of fun stuff cactus green plenty ready to go for all that kind of stuff the only thing we're suffering from right now and I'm going to say suffering specifically is we need to be able to make heavy radiation shielding which we really need to be able to make this stuff because this is how you can manage to regulate seriously a lot of the production of radiation in your base. We've continuously worked with the radiation. You know, one of these years I'll learn how to spell. Radiation. Okay, we'll do shielding then. Shielding, because everything says radiation. Those three things right there. We start off with the light radiation that will put a 0 0.01 rad resistance to anything you apply it to, any of the inventories, interfaces, things, stuff, boxes, even your armor. The medium is a 0.1 rad resistance or containment, so to speak, and the main heavy one is a 0.1. One, or I should say, is a one rad radiation. So as far as those numbers go, I know that it's kind of one of these things. It, it, it's irritating because of how little the numbers actually are when you start to think about what you're looking at. So that number down in the bottom left-hand corner, and we're going to talk about this real quick, a pico rad, a pico rad, right? Pico, 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 pico. That's what a P means. Um... It, we, something else should be around here that we can find something that's a little bit nastier. Uh, give me one of those. Um, 
This by itself is a six, well, that stack is six nano rads. If I do this and you look at it, it's now 96 pico rads. Now, a nano rad and my math, you can all can correct me in the comments if you want to. Everything, I have to actually work with this generally at my work, given uh, what I do occasionally messing around with RF technologies because of the fact that we measure things and a lot of this stuff is in nanos and picos and just how, it's amazing how much little power it takes to get from point A to point B when you blast a bunch of electrons, electrons through the air. But again, this number is bigger than this number by a factor, well, if, if we just say here, if you're just saying pico and nano, you're dealing with a factor of, what is it, 100 or 1,000. And the number down in the corner there, that 100 pico rads, even though I'm holding that, is not terrible. So the reasoning why it's an interesting thing here is when you start talking about what the difference in the shielding can do. This right here, this will protect you against a whatever a 0 0.01 is. Google. All right, so quit Googling of me being dumb. And you, again, go ahead, everybody. Feel like messing around with me, go ahead. It's fine. Do it in the comments. I always love it when people correct me. It's hilarious. But just as a simple thing here, that 0 0.0 ha, ha, here, where is it? Come on. That 0 0.01, 0 0.01 is a centi which means it's a hundred points lower than a milli, which is a hundred points, which should say a hundred points higher than a milli, which is a hundred points higher than a micro, which is a hundred points higher than a mil, or what is, wherever we are, nano, which is a factor of almost a million. Almost a million, at least on the scale that I Googled. We're talking really teeny, tiny numbers here. The thing is, is depending on how radiation has been set to do various things, is when it starts really, really reacting badly with your player. So on this character, I put the .01 shielding on, which is this stuff, on every single one of these things, which in theory probably is a point. For rad resistance against everything that we're currently carrying, which is why, as long as you maintain a few things, the little numbers that we've seen this whole time. So like right now, I've got a 47 micro rad as far as I'm concerned. No, it's a millirad. It's a millirad. So we're, we're up pretty high as far as that's concerned. We've got a bunch of millirads going along and we're just kind of doing a few things. The reason why I've gotten so much of that is because I went over there and I stood in that chunk over there for a little while trying to figure out what the heck was going on and none of it was working. But here's an interesting thing. This will remove three full rads. One. Gone. Completely. This is why this is so interesting to me, because of the fact that now we're, we're slowly gaining and there they go, go all the way. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. We're still standing in a six and a U, which is a micro rad, which uh, still it's 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 teeny tiny numbers, teeny tiny numbers. The point is, is when does it actually start harming your player? I don't know. I haven't tried. It's been forever since I've had to mess with anything in the actual nuclear craft mod to try to figure out how to keep things down. But. Basically, what I can say is, is that if you can manage to keep a lot of these up and running, which is kind of the secret of why I've been doing what we've been doing, is every single interface that I have in this factory that I can place one of these things on to maintain a reasonable rad radiation shielding from that. That's why there's nothing around. I think that's probably the reason why we're not fighting with anything is because I have built so many of those. They're all over the place. Um, I guess it isn't a gas giant anymore, is it? interesting i don't know what we're supposed to do i yeah, yeah we'll, we'll we'll see how things go i did do the thing that you told me to do so if that's what's supposed to happen that's what's supposed to happen if not i'll uh i'll reinstall that section of it re-update it do whatever but anyhow rattling and prattling on for 10 minutes about everything look at me it's a thursday afternoon and i'm having a good time it's been a good day today what we are going to do we are going to interconnect that power system with this power system we're going to do a little bit more radiation recovery or recovery of things because we now need to do this which i want to do that right now uh, I want to do that right now. Where is it? Click this. Give me go. I spent all that money earlier to do all that stuff. I'm going to leave this alone for a while. I just want to see how silly it can be. 
Um, we haven't found anything yet, but I do want to at least be able to reprocess our fuel. Today, what I want to do is I want to be able to get that, like I said, that power system interconnected with this power system so that that can produce power for us. And if needs be, we may make two or three more of those. As I stated last time, they, we have enough of the reprocessors or the isotope centrifuges, whatever those things are, to be able to run four of those things with some excess, which is 40,000 RF a tick. Um, I think I have at least that down here right now in oil generation of boilers and steam turbines and things and stuff. But we are more interested in the byproduct of that reactor, so I want at least one running all the time. Neptonium. Can I please type, please? Neptonium is going to provide us with all of the energetic crystals we could ever possibly need to do any of the other things that we need as far as speed upgrades and efficiency modules. I do understand that we still need to work on circuit fives. We have not built those yet. Circuit fives are pretty much only going to involve us messing around with some very, very minute things to the point I won't even automate that. We'll just use it. We'll make, I'll probably just make, you know, we'll automate them. We'll have a stack on hand and then we'll just take a stack and build whatever we need to. We're not going to have a full on production line of everything that happens here. Now I did go ahead and in, add another, <laughs> we're at level five now. I didn't get to shoot. I forgot to hit the button when I jumped off. Whoops, whatever. We'll have to go up there and fix that problem. But yeah, we have another fifth floor up there to go do some things. All right. Ah, I know. La, 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 la. Everything can go. Uh, a UHV. UHV wiring needs to start with the heavy radiation shielding, which is going to be boron dust, medium radiation shielding, and carbon plates. So we need to go get a machine, uh, assembly machine mark four or three or three with three or three or two. I might even just do a two on this one because it really doesn't need to be that fast. Uh, back to the threes because I can use the efficiency plus the uh, productivity modules on it. And this is not really all that expensive either. So we might just do, we'll, we'll, we'll just get some stuff going. And then we need to, we're not going to build those. We're not going to, we're, we're going to build a couple of them. I'm going to, I have a machine right there that we can do it. So the only thing I'm interested in right now, I guess, is going to be the heavy radiation shielding. And from there on out, we're going to, well, handcraft things in that. How much of this stuff, we have two. Two will make us how many? That'll make us 16 of those, which will allow me to make uh, two which <laughs> recoils. That should be enough to get us over there. All right, uh, let's get some stuff together, and I got to get back up there and fix that problem, but we're going to build all of that up there. Uh, yeah, let's... And then if we're lucky, when we get to the end of this, if we have time, we'll also do... Leave it in your inventory so don't lose it. Uh, we will do this today, too, as well, so that we can get rid of all of those cells and the excess stuff that's going on. So, uh, upstairs, and I have got to... 10 should get me up there. Can we go to the mall, Mark... Floor four. And then I got to get up there somehow. Um, boink, 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 boink. You got to make the noise. If you're not making the noise, you're not doing anything. All right. Now, mall fifth. Cool. And we will start over here. Oh, we have eight of those. Wonderful. We're going to need, what, at least one? I think we're going to just do one because all I'm going to do is that. We're just going to make this all the time. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Cool. Simple, easy. I just need my blueprints once again. Blueprints and blueprints, blueprints, blueprints. Assembler three and one of those. It's been a while since we've been building things, I feel like at least. So we can definitely just plop this one down and get it going. How are we doing this? I should have looked before I crawled up here. I think it's 
like that. Yeah, just like that, centered off the back. And I think this one is the level that we also need to bring that up. Give me pipe box, please. Where did it go? Oh, it's right there. Putting things away when I shouldn't be putting things away. And we got to drop down there. Eh. Oops. Don't break. Please don't break. I'm actually kind of interesting. Again, we were kind of talked interested. Interesting, interested. Uh, we were talking about that last time as to how am we going to integrate this system with the other system. So, like, if we decided we wanted to change some of this sector, it would have been fine if I'd have been good with the, you know, producing of little, you know, walls of storage like I did all the way down this whole thing for this building. It would have been great. But we didn't. Uh, this whole building is the part of the main system. And I'm kind of wondering whether or not I can't just get away with maybe putting a storage bus on some of these or whatever they call the I don't know if we're even going to get them. External storage. I don't know if I can take that and then plug like like say say just for the just for the second while we're sitting here thinking about this. I don't know right refined storage enough and I don't I don't know refined storage enough and I don't know um any of well logistics that well enough. But if I took given given my small knowledge of um networking and subnetworking in uh, applied energistics. If you took a storage bus or a storage, whatever that thing is, the storage, external storage, and like with applied energistics, you take a, an ex, you know, a, a storage bus and an interface and you make a flat interface, not interface, the, uh, the, the little QB things, the interface, 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 right? Interface. Those things. You make a flat one of those, and you put one back to back so that they can both, so that these subnets can see what the other one can see and push things across. If I, well, did something similar with this mod and that mod, I could theoretically subnet this building out the way that it sits right now and just let logistics pipes connect to either a storage bus or an interface one of the two i don't know i'd have to play we're gonna have to play with it very hard but that would allow me to be able to subnet out the entire building that i didn't subnet out before maybe that would work i don't know we'll we'll find out when we get to that point i know we're kind of i'm, I'm kind of it's it's a it's almost friday for me it's kind of one of those days where we're just kind of sitting here having a good time chilling out building stuff and this is how i like to kind of play minecraft so Huh, all right, rattle, rattle, prattle, prattle. We need to make the final shielding. Shielding, shielding, shielding. Good Lord, spell. Shielding, heavy radiation. Hit that over there so you can see it. We need medium radiation shielding, boron dust, and carbon plates. And we need... U23, which I should be able to do if I grab one of these. I know it's down there. Right up, whatever. Uh, library. I'm going to have to go get it, aren't I? It's not in this list. Amazing. BRB. You go in there, and then we hook everything up, and we make the stuff and the things. Need one of those. Uh, this has how many things? One, two, three. We'll just go ahead and do that on this side. One, two, three. And we'll put one of those right there. This is why I don't do that. That's why I do this is because it's one of those things where you get the connection right there. It's still going to need it, isn't it? Uh, idiot. Whatever. Um, it's been one of those weeks. It's been a long week. I've kind of enjoyed it, but it's been tiring. So I'm glad to kind of sit down and play a a thinky game where I don't necessarily have to be absolutely correct all the time. Given the fact that, you know, things are what they are. All right. We need boron, dust, and you can just keep that full. And what else? Medium radiation carbon plate. These I don't care because everything about this is cheap. I mean, it is kind of expensive on this one. But 
Where is it? Medium radiation. How many is it supposed to take? Four? Ah, just, just fill it up. Who cares? As soon as everything gets changed, as soon as this thing starts to build these, we're going to pretty much run around the entire base and hit all of the offending interfaces with, oh, well, all of the really heavy-duty ones, like the uh, the redstone that's down here and the uranium over there, and, and start blocking some of this problem. So are we making things? We are, and I will do those eventually. All right, that's cool. So we now have, well, we now have heavy, heavy radiation shielding, which means we can shield stuff from a full one rad resistance, which is a lot if you think about it it's ridiculous so that's great wonderful cool what do we do now well now we're going to go down here and we're going to let that run for just a little bit just so that we can get enough of the parts up which i probably won't take very long actually and quit hitting the button i, I gotta quit playing other games i've got to quit, quit playing other games because all of the key bindings and everything that are messed up back to the workshop well, I don't know where that went, but okay. Okay, so we need to go find R40 and R43 so we can make all this stuff. And R40, R43. These are nasty. They're nano rads. 25 nano rads. Again, you're talking about a nano, which is still way down the line of things. Um, it is what it is. We'll just play with them and see how we go. We need to build some UHV relays, which is going to require us to make some insulated glass, which is silicon glass, pulverized and pulverized iron and cactus green. And so I need R23, which is in my hand. R23, R20, uh-oh. Where is this? Who is this? How I make R23 is what? Flexible HV wiring. Did I unlock that? No. All right, well, we got to go unlock that. I think I have 20 of that research. We have 20 of that research. No problem. Give me. Okay. So we got that done. Unlocked. That's R23. I do, again, love the intertwining with some of the things. It's it's great. I, it, there, it, it, I don't want I don't want to make somebody's head all that big, but he's done a heck of a job trying to make sure that certain things are very well locked behind other things, at least for some of this stuff. So uh, we need to go ahead and build a bunch of parts. I'm going to build all the little bitty pieces. I mean, all I got to do is just make a whole bunch of insulated glass, which is just me gathering a bunch of this up. Uh, I need to go ahead and make some titanium rods. Again, not very hard. We have the facilities, and then we need to make a few of these. All of these are going to need to be done in an assembly machine, which is going to sit right there. Ah, we're going to get all that done. We're going to build it all. Then we're going to hook that reactor up to the power in the main base using these transformers. I do really, really want to touch on them because they're kind of important to understand how this whole mess works. And then we'll go forward. So let me get a bunch of parts together. We'll build a bunch of things. And then we'll go hook some things together. I'll be right back. Alrighty, for the last little bit, we get the pain point. We need four of those, four of those, and, well, one of those to make eight of those. We should have enough to at least do most of that right here, I hope. We have some heavy radiation shielding that should be sitting in here. Let's go ahead, toss this recipe in, which one is it? R40 here. So, ME imager ducts, plutonium, and uh, those. And then that should make... A uh, single set of a couple of things. So we'll grab all those out. I know I left some things in here. And there we go. UHV energy ducts. I only want, and I'm, I'm going to honestly hope I only need this much. Now, we're going to try to just use the transformers. The, the fun part about transformers is, uh, let's plop them down while we talk about this, is that they have the connector that you need on top of them. And these wires go a really, really long way. However, in order to be able to get the power out of these or into or whatever what we're doing, that thing makes 10,000 RF a tick. I need to have something that is capable of doing at least that in and out on both sides, which means, again, I need to keep at least two of these. So we're down to six, which means I can't make that wire. 
Huh. Let's see if we can make one wire using that number, which is the 43, and I put them over here, so the spares are going to go in here. We'll keep those six. I want one wire. I am hoping that wire will get from that nuclear reactor over to here. Now, that's all saying that I, you know, I'm, I'm nuts, but we should be able to come up with something kind of fun. One long-range Ultra HV wire coil. These things, I know I went and made a few HV coils. Will, I, the issue right now is I need the system to run. I need this down here to run and produce more of that plutonium, I think is what it's called. This stuff right here, plutonium-239. The only way we're getting that right now is out of these things. And we're, uh, it's going to be a while before we can get a lot of it. I was really hoping to try to figure out how to make a bunch of radioactive waste. I still haven't figured out how to make it work. So let's go ahead and set these up, get them hooked into the system, and hope. I'm going to go blow my nose here in a minute, too, because holy crap. But we'll, we'll play with these here in a second, and we'll, uh, we'll get over there. So as soon as I get both of these ends, well, at least one end up and running, we'll go talk about them. So I'll be back in a second. So the fun is going to be trying to figure out how we want to do this. So the main, well, like our entire system is all controlled pretty much from anywhere on the whole mess. And this wall has a nice big wide pile of uh, cabling sitting right there ready to go. The back of this, the power out is right over there. And we're going to need at least one of these connectors on the back of that to get all of the power out of that reactor and anything else for that matter. Because likely what will happen is the next reactor I feel like making will be sitting right next to it. Hello, game. Come on. And we'll just run a bus of power behind that. That will also allow us to keep some of this other stuff running. Now, as far as I recall, this transformer system will segregate these two systems out and I want to kind of talk about that really quickly because I probably need the wrench that I don't know if I have anymore uh where are your tools my friend tools 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 I don't think we have that wrench anymore and I don't know if this one will do it I might have to actually go make that wrench again these, this is a one-way system. It's not a two-way system. Notice it's blue and it's blue. You have to, according to the instructional information here, um, important when switching a important when switching a UHV transformer back to input mode, it breaks the transformer break and replace transformer fix. UHV transformer by default inputs. And by applying a redstone signal, it can be set to output. That, okay, well, that's what I needed to know, which means if I do a this, it will turn another different color once I give it a little bit of power. It's a one-way system. It's a one-way system. I cannot transfer power back through these across the network. So if I lose power over here because I run out of fuel rods, that thing right there is going to die. It's going to quit working, and I'm going to have to come over here and fix the problem and make it work again. What I care about is being able to take the power that that reactor is going to make and push it this direction. So just pay attention to the numbering when you're using these things. Let's see what we can't do about being silly. I want... Well, let's see what we can do over here. I want to put this... Well, we got to get rid of all this. Give me a second. Well, we have... I need to do it in less than eight. I need to do it in a lot less than eight. Oh, what do these do? 4,000? Hi. Give me a second. I'm trying to work here. Goodbye. I uh, can't do that. We need to do... I might have to go make some more of these things. Holy crap. I need to be able to get this right there, and I wanted it actually one over from that, huh? Because we need, I think I can make that work. 10,000 RF a tick. Uh, this can pretty much move a lot of power. So 10,000 from here to there, given the fact, I mean, I guess we, 
Well, I still got to kind of play with it. it. It's one thing that you can do with the thermodynamics ducts is that you can multiply connections given what you can do here. So I can finish out like covering the entirety of that block back there with the MV ducts that can do 4,000, which would mean we'd need to do three. And then I can hook them all up and make three interfaces touch this stuff here. So like I could do, uh, give me one of these. Click and click, click down. Whoop, no. This, this. And then I'd have to do that. So now that is transferring all of what can go into that into a single thing. And I mean, I could even do better than that. I could just move it over and, you know, whatever. That gives us a few more of these things. The reason why I need it is because on the other side, we need to make sure that we're capable of moving that much power. Which is going to mean I'm going to drag some stuff down from the top of there over to there. Let's do this. We're going to see if we have to make more wire. Because I'm going to say about right there, somewhere, where is this power? Where is it? It's right there. All right. I need to make sure that this is under and in the included chunk loaded area, which should be here. This is going to be interesting to see if this works or not. Uh, we'll just put it down there. Can I move you forward one, my friend? There. No, not that one. Here. That. And then I'm going to run it up. As high as it'll let me, I suppose. And then I do this. And then I do this, and then we, all right, and then I got to run a wire from here to there. So from what I know, it'll make that distance. Oh, yes. Thank you. 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 Shut that off. Let's go over here. Turn this on. Swim. There's, there's a dead spot right there because we used to have a pump right there. Uh, let's turn this on. That should give us some power on both sides. And you can do this. All right. So you're now input on this side, which means I can go shut this reactor back or turn this reactor back on. And we can turn off a bunch of turbines. Right. Right. This should run solid. I went and adjusted this to make sure that there's always going to be one of those in here. Is this working? Maybe. I have no idea. Are you producing? You don't look like you're working. Of course, it's not a whole heck of a lot. I guess what I should be doing is I should be looking to see whether or not our <laughs> these turbines are shutting off. Because that's 10,000 RF a tick, which should theoretically, these make what, 2,000? Uh, let's check really quickly. Check really quickly. Advanced Team Turbine makes 2,000 RF a tick, which means we should have just taken five of these offline. And I have no idea. I should have come down here and looked before. Oh, wow. This whole bank's done. And that bank's off. There's one on this one, one on this one, and one on this one. Very cool. I'm going to stare at this a second. I will be right back. I want to make sure everything's functional. Alrighty. Uh, I had to go back and hit this with a one of these because it... it it, I don't know. It, it required me to do this, and then if I click this button, it changes direction. So it is something that I guess you can do. You can flick them back and forth 
um, to try to pass power one direction or the other, given a redstone signal or not. But I had to go ahead and hit it with a wrench to make sure that it was orange on this side and blue on that side. So it should... I mean, the base isn't doing anything right now, so it's kind of hard to actually see what's going on, but that should work. We should have high speed or high whatever this stuff is capable of doing between that point and this point. And if we build a couple of more of these reactors over there, we should be able to transfer their power over here. I am going to have to work pretty much quite a bit. Actually, I should say we're going to have to work quite a bit on getting a lot more... Uh, uranium because that thing this thing I, I i'm gonna have to go back and maybe do a little bit of math myself but i kind of feel like this is eating more uranium than it should given the numbers but again we're talking modded factorio so it's anybody numbers and then they can be the way that they want to but it is definitely chewing through quite a bit of resources again kind of wanting some use for these not that it won't really matter we'll be able to use them eventually It'd be kind of fun to play around with but yeah we're we're out of uranium again and i'm i'm just absolutely chewing through uranium to the point that there's none left in this space but i guess until then we have another floor on the factory, well, the, the mall. We have a uh, long distance capability of passing lots and lots and lots of power given the availability of more neptonium or whatever, plutonium. And we're capable of now moving a little bit on towards things. I don't know where we're going to go next time, guys. I have no idea. We're going to just maybe pick a chapter and kind of mess with some stuff because... Well, we're kind of hitting that point where I want to think about space, but I kind of want to play with gloop, but there's a bunch of little bitty loose ends that we need to tie up. Till then, I will let it run and let it see what it does, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.